Hey guys, Irene here and today I have another behind the scenes. I have my model Emily right here. She's getting her makeup and hair done. Monica's doing her makeup. Yeah. And Jamie's doing her hair right there. I will link their information in the description down below so you guys can check out their Instagrams or Facebooks and all of that. We have this really cool crown that I got from AliExpress. All the links will be in the description and um, we're gonna be shooting in my new house actually it's uh, a little bit empty right now so I thought it would be perfect time to use this space and I have these really cool big bay windows in this house and the upstairs one is again pretty empty so we're gonna do that keep watching and I'm gonna show you guys what's happening So I have my model all dressed up and she's just wearing this vintage corset that I thrifted and this skirt which is actually a dress. All we just did, we just took the top part and tucked it inside. Uh, so yeah, and there's the crown. It's very like soft vintage look. Okay, so this is the first setup that we have. I just have my model sitting right by the window so we're getting really beautiful window light from this side. And um, yeah, this room is pretty empty right now, so it's really perfect. And as usual, I'm shooting with my Canon 5D Mark III and the Canon 85mm 1.2 lens. So when I started shooting, I actually realized that I really liked the completely backlit pictures more than the pictures lit from the side, so I positioned my model with her back towards the window. I was actually live streaming on Instagram while doing this photo shoot and here you can see me talking to everyone who joined and thank you guys so much, it was super fun and I'm definitely going to do some more live streams in the future. It is a little bit more challenging shooting completely backlit images and using just natural light but I still prefer just editing the underexposed areas in post-production rather than using a flash or any other external light source to light her up. In my opinion, using just natural light creates a very very soft and beautiful look which I really desire in my pictures. I did also use a reflector for some of the close-up shots. I just rested it onto my leg and it actually worked out pretty good. <laughs> So for these last images, I actually got my model sitting on the windowsill because I wanted to get more of the window in the shot. So as you can see, there is a tree outside my house that is visible through the window. And because we were shooting at 2 p.m., the sun was at its peak and it was shining onto the tree with this beautiful yellow light. And it was producing really, really cool bokeh in my images because I was shooting at 1.2. I also did some freelancing and I used a Nikon 50mm 1.8 lens. If you don't know what freelancing is or how to do it, I have the whole separate video on this topic. I will link it in the description down below so you guys can check it out. So we just finished our photo shoot and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you Emily so much for modeling for me. 
all of the social media to everyone involved in the photo shoot will be in the description down below uh, don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye yeah <laughs>